Friends, friends, may I have your attention, please? We would like to welcome you to the Bradley Ward House annual Kwanzaa feast. Now, <laughs> some of our guests uh, have not had the opportunity to share this experience with us, so I'd like to take this opportunity to remind us all what it's about. Uh, is not a religious holiday. In Swahili, the word literally means first fruits. So in the broadest sense, this is a harvest celebration. It originated almost 30 years ago by Dr. Molana Karenga for African Americans to celebrate the fruits of their labors and seven principles by which to build a happy, productive life. Now it's also an opportunity for us to give thanks for friends and family and the hope and promise of life. The feast is celebrated over seven days, beginning the 26th of December, with each day dedicated to one of the principles which my grandmother will explain will. to you. <laughs> Tell you all about it. <laughs> now, tonight, what we're doing is we're combining several elements into one big, huge Kwanzaa celebration and feast, and we're ecstatic right. that you're yeah. all here to join us. Yeah. Right. Now, one important thing, a lot of people might that Kwanzaa is strictly an African-American event. Well, May May War believes that it's an opportunity for African-Americans to share a bit of our heritage, but it's right. also, and more importantly, a celebration of community. Absolutely. So in that spirit, all right, all right, all right. this, everybody, this is a makeka. It's a simple straw mat, but it is the foundation it represents our history and our culture. This is the Kanara. Each of the candles it holds represents one of the principles we will celebrate tonight. Unity. Unity in our family, in our community, in our race, in our nation, in the world, so there will be no more war, no more poverty, right. no more hunger. Right. Yes. Self-determination. To define ourselves, to name ourselves, to create for ourselves, and to speak for ourselves. No problem about that around here. <laughs> Not in this house. You can say that again. <laughs> yeah. Collective work and responsibility. To build and maintain our community together, and to make our brothers and sisters' problems our problems, so that we may work together to solve them. Cooperative economics to build and support our own businesses, our own stores and shops, and that we may profit from them together. Purpose, to restore our people to their traditional greatness and in the simplest way, choose what we want to do and not become distracted. Yes. Yes. Creativity, to leave our community and this earth more beautiful and more beneficial than we inherited it. And faith. To believe in our people, and in our parents, and our teachers, and our leaders, and the righteousness of our struggle. The Bibun Day, which represents the children, one for each of the children who live at the Bradley Ward House. It's for Barry and Mika. Charlie and Juana, for Theo, for Ramsey, <laughs> and oh, Deandra, Dexter, <laughs> and Yvonne. And now, for Tom Hardy Jr., <laughs> for Lucky Spencer, <laughs> and for Leslie Lou. Fences. What? What did you say, sweetheart? Mine's the biggest. Oh, right. oh. Well, how did we do that? <laughs> In a little while, there will be food on the table. But our minds need food, and our hearts need nourishment. And as a sign of the food of the soul, I lay upon our table the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Holy Quran. The Kwanzaa table is set. And now we will have Keisha tell us a 